Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break, your home for current community talk with Patricia Duart, Darlene Hayes, and Connie Wright. Hi there. Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break. Look who we have as our guest and where we are. Our guest today is new library director, Heather Backman, and we're so excited that she's allowed us to get a little bit of a peek. A little glimpse. We, a little <laughs> glimpse. So we're here at the in the outside of the library, obviously. And this and is really pretty too. It's some, beautiful. Yes. So a, we're so excited to just be here. We're outside. Construction finishing touches are still happening. So there'll be a little activity, a little noise, but it's exciting. It's quieter out here than it now is Heather's inside. Heather's the new yes. executive yes. director, but she's yes. not new to the library. Not new to the library. So, yes. So welcome. Well, thank thank you. you so much Cheers. for being on yes. our show. Thank you so much. Do we yeah. do, do we do the clinks? Uh, <laughs> we do the clinks. Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. So Heather, thank you so much for being on this show and joining us for coffee. So how are you feeling as you as oh. the days loom closer to the opening? I've I've got a lot of balls in the air. Learning yeah. to juggle. Yeah. Um, but it's really great. I mean, it's um, you can look in at least through the windows and see a little bit of what's going on there. It is an amazing building. Yes. The staff are so excited. Everybody's working real hard in there to get everything ready and it's a really exciting time. That's so I awesome. love when you peek through the front that yeah. you can still see like the original like yes. stone, the woodwork and that how the, you told me that the meeting room stayed as the old church. Yes. And that's really cool. Yeah I know one of the things that was very important to the community was to maintain Preserve. the original two buildings that mm -hmm. had been the library for a long time so as much as possible. So yeah. talk about the changes and what has been maintained mm -hmm. with the physical space. Sure, well, um, of course we have a lot of change off the back. We have an entirely new addition. Um, I think it How is- How many square feet two, about? 24,000. Wow. wow. And yes. what was it before? I yeah. believe it was eight. Wow. Don't quote me on that, but it, it, it's it, something yeah. like tripling, it's, quadrupling. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it may, yeah. So it's a huge, a huge difference. Um, the public space back there, you know, it, it was a lovely building, but it was cramped. Mm -hmm. You know, it was a little Even the dark children's sometimes. room was like tight. The children's room was big. And the children's room now is the entire second floor of the addition. <gasps> oh my God. Wow. It is huge. It is bright. It is beautiful. <laughs> um, it's got so much in it. It's, it's an amazing space. We have so much more public space. We actually, you know, have space at the ends of our stacks instead of all the books just being crammed right in there. Cool. Um, it's great. Awesome. Um, so have yes. you been hands-on in everything from picking tables and chairs and furnishings and to a degree, you know, the, the architect suggests things and, and, you know, we had a, a group of people who was, you know, working on it and we would pick some things and we'd go to the staff and say, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? Mm -hmm. Um, so we didn't have totally open selection, but right. we, we didn't want to guided it by the pros. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Um, I want to go back a yeah. little bit. Yeah. Talk to us. When did you join the library as the um, director of adult programs? Is that yeah. right? Uh, adult services. Adult library. services. Yep. Okay. I, I came here almost three years. Actually, it might be. It's three years ago tomorrow. Oh wow! wow. Oh, happy happy anniversary. Yes. Absolutely. So, um, cool. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, good story. Yes. I, I was replacing yeah Susan Marshall, who mm -hmm. was who the adult services librarian before me. Um, mm -hmm. And I know she had done a real tremendous job, and I heard a lot about her and, and everything she had done. And um, I came in and kind of picked it up with the programs and the collection development and, yeah. and helping people across the desk. And so did you have yeah. any idea when you joined three years ago? I guess this was in the work, so this, the hope oh, of a yes. new library. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was, we were, um, we were well underway. The yes. funding was, was and we, started were, by we were here for the groundbreaking. Yes. Yes, you were, we were. I know yes. you were here. Yes. And actually, I think that day we actually had Ronak on the show. Yeah. And yeah. they yes. came straight oh, over really? here for that. Right. Yeah. I didn't know right. that. Oh, that's great. Well, yeah. Ronak had, um, so. had said so many wonderful things about you when you oh, were hired. Right. And had always said, oh, you should have, you know, our my new adult services person, you know, on. Yeah. And we yeah. said, oh, we will, we will. Well, here we are. It's all. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, I think about So you have a bit of a commute to come here. I have about a half hour drive. It's against traffic, so it's not bad. I See. did 90 minutes one way prior to this, mm -hmm. so yeah. I got here. Everybody's going, how can you possibly? And I'm thinking, this is a dream. <laughs> so, <laughs> I have to tell yeah. you, yeah, I understand completely because of yeah. my work and my commute. I'm like, 30 minutes is a great <laughs> commute. You don't understand. Hour yeah. and a half is 
Very you, typical. So where, where do you come in from? I come from Waltham. Okay. Though, yep. Yeah. Oh, so that's not bad. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's lovely. It's, I think that's nice. And you then know. you, you know, you all into the Hopkinton community and obviously everything. Yep. And then you get a little break. You get to go home. Yeah. And <laughs> I think, you know, you, know, you want to be, as a director especially, involved in the community and you want to know everybody. But um, in terms of living in the space, it's hard because, you know, as a private citizen, yes. sometimes there are positions you want to take, things you want to say, political activities maybe yes. you're involved in it. It's not really appropriate as right. a library director to be. It's like when you run into teachers in town. Too. Yeah. Right. 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 You, you have a public position and you want to be able to maintain a, a certain neutrality yes. as, as a head of a, a library. Absolutely. So agree with you. What had you done prior to joining our library? Um, prior to this, immediately prior to coming to Hopkinton, I was in Hanover, New Hampshire. Wow. wow. I was there for four years. I was there, it was a mouthful, Programming Public Relations and Outreach Coordinator. Okay. It was basically half <laughs> reference librarian and half That's near Dartmouth, and, isn't it? Yep, it's yeah. the same town as Dartmouth. Yeah. It was a really interesting place to work. Um, very so vibrant you, in a different way from Hopkinton. So your background vibrant. is yeah. all library. Yep. Yep, since Very I cool. got out of college, went straight to get my uh, master's. master's degree and then mm -hmm. found a job. Very cool. Where'd you go? Yes. I went, I have my master's degree from University of Michigan, Ann Arbor. Oh, cool. wow. And great I had, spar. It, yeah. was, it was great. Yeah. It was a great experience. Um, and prior to that, I was at Stanford University. So. No oh, way. Right. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm an alum. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I could talk about other things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no idea. I was I, I was a podunk from a farm in Pennsylvania and uh -huh. I went out to Stanford and then wow. I lived in the Bay Area for twenty two years and then wow. my farm at the time, Deloitte, mm -hmm. finally got me back to the East Coast. I have a lot of family in this area. Um, and so I transferred That's with amazing. Deloitte 20 years ago. Yeah. Wow. Almost 21, coming in February. So did you grow up in so New England or did you grow up in California? I grew up in Bedford. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're like me. You went all the way out there. Yeah, my parents joked I ranked my colleges by how far away they were. I did oh. Oh. <laughs> Can you pick um, something you know, yeah. I didn't. I didn't want to go anywhere in Boston because I, I knew this. Yeah. You know, and, yeah. And I love this and I wanted to come back here. You know, it was such a joy. I got to say, after five years of California, as wonderful as it is, yeah. to go to Ann Arbor and actually get weather again and <laughs> weather Arbor's changes one of those beautiful yeah. cities it is a is wonderful place city. yeah Do you not and, know uh, yeah it's got a lot Absolutely. going on. But. There's actually uh, like three or four people from Hopkinton I know from Ann Arbor, too. Really? It's really wild. Oh, yeah. you've got to hook me up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We gotta get, there'll be these like Michigan and Stanford things going on. Yeah. Absolutely. Funny. Oh, funny. Small world. Yeah. Did not know. I'm just and admiring your necklace. I just Thank love you. that. It's Thank just you. the book. Yeah. The book. Absolutely. My husband has amazing taste in jewelry. He does. He, he knows exactly what to do. absurdly hipster craft fair. Sure. He knew what to do. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. So, so, yeah. Back to yeah, here. Sure, absolutely. And and the things going on mm -hmm. in addition to grand opening now in a week. A week October twenty seventh, eleven AM. We're so gonna gather be here. out front on Main Street. <laughs> a week speeches. from today. We're hoping for a soft opening before that, but at this point we may it may be that day. The opening. The yeah. <laughs> And then we're all excited yes. about the gala that's scheduled yes, for the, 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 the novel affair. The novel affair. No. Oh, the <laughs> A novel affair. A, a novel, novel affair. affair. I love the name. So are you wearing yes. a flapper dress? I yeah, what's the tire? should, but I don't have anything of that nature. <laughs> anything flapper. So, yes, yeah, so they're, they're saying they're saying. I know there's some people. I just caught you. Yeah. 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 Okay. Can, connect yeah. with me. I may have something you can borrow. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was going to go shopping today, maybe. <laughs> You know, well, it's wild because, you know, <laughs> during this transition where over the past month you've had to close down a temporary site, move everything over here, oh my, yes. you actually continue on programming. Even though people aren't taking books in and out, you've got like an opera series coming up, you've got the uh, mm -hmm. the flower decorating that make it look like book arrangements. Mm -hmm. And so you, even though, you know, the big, the, you know, we're talking about, you know, a week from today is the grand opening, and then the next day is the gala, kind of celebrating it. I know mm -hmm. the gala will actually break you over that million dollar mark. That's that's the that's whole yeah, goal. They're very wow. close right wow. now. Yeah, but the, uh, wow. did an amazing effort on But that, you know, the, that you're already off and running with, with programs as soon as the door opens. It's, your things are programmed. I know that even, like, you've sent me a thing for meeting spaces and stuff yes. like that. And that, you know, you, um, you know, I know that, you know, there's 
beautiful meeting space, which was the old church. And are there other yes. meeting rooms? Yes. So we have a total of three spaces that will be reservable to the public. Oh, so um, exciting. We have the large event room, which is the old church, the old reading room, which right. has been just stunningly redone. Mm -hmm. um, we have uh, a smaller conference room. I think it maxes out about 20 people, which is in the right, right here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the front of the old building where the circulation desk used to be oh, and all wow. that kind of thing. They have redone that in a way that honors the historicity of the space. They've mm. found the original paint color, put that back <gasps> on the wall, refinished the wood. Perfect. Our um, historic clock is going back in there right oh, where it's been I all love that. that time. Oh, I love that. That. And then we have a classroom in the lower level, which mm -hmm. is a flexible space with tables and chairs. And um, So is there computer yeah. space and things like that? There, there are computers throughout the library okay. on the floor. Um, so we have, on every floor, we have at least a few computers, including in the children's room. And we've got a new system we'll be starting up on opening. You just log in with your library card. If you don't have a library card, we can give you a guest pass. And then it automatically manages, you know, you don't have to sign in at the, at the, the sheet anymore so we can track <laughs> you. It tracks it all. It manages the time. It lets you know when we're about to close so that you don't have time to save and we aren't coming around bugging people. Um, all the printing is handled through it. So it, we, now we just get coin boxes and, and you know, to print and it is very clear about what things cost which I know is sometimes a source of confusion <laughs> oh, it's, it's so a wonderful wow. yeah so we will have 17 computers I think 17. throughout the building which about quadruples what we had yeah great wow. library. So what a job yes. this is just like yeah. so did you so have exciting. to add to staff at all or are you keeping them the same staff number at this point we uh, did put in a request that was approved at the last town meeting for a new part-time reference position oh, okay mm -hmm. um, prior to that the job that I had previously held adult services was the only uh, person in the library who was qualified to be at the reference desk and that was oh. a 40 hour position okay we're open 50 hours a week mm. oh gosh. Mm -hmm. um, and some of the that 40 hours was before we were open or it was going to meetings professional mm -hmm. development so mm -hmm. we uh, have an additional 19 hours we can make sure somebody is there to help yeah. people down at the reference desk all the time now Awesome. And I know celebrations yeah. have actually already started. Um, I, you know, we're sitting outside because you might hear background noise with construction. But, you know, the Library Foundation got these great banners up. I know we'll yes. grab a picture oh, yeah. to get up on the show. Yes. And, you know, even was it two weeks ago that we were at the Middlesex Savings Bank who has yes. been a major donor, the yes. presenter of the gala. Yes. And they did a wonderful reception yeah, the, for you guys. The bank and the Chamber of Commerce put that together. It was a, a complete surprise <laughs> oh, <laughs> for yeah. all of us at the library to start getting these invitations. We were so pleased. It was a lovely thing to do and a lovely mm. event. Yeah. We were very honored. Awesome. And, um, I, I mean, I think the neat thing too is like, you know, they recognize, you know, current staff, they recognize Ronak, they recognize the foundation, the friends of the library, mm -hmm. because it, it's taken a lot of hands to get this going. It's been a massive and, effort. And, you know, massive fundraising, and the fact that one million of this has been privately raised is yes. huge. Yeah. It's, it's astounding. I mean, um, I just, I know it's, it's taken them a while to get that number. This, this whole project has been going on for something like a decade, but mm -hmm. that they actually have raised a million dollars, you know, the women and the gentlemen, Scott Richards and yeah. Bob <laughs> yes. um, they are such amazing driven people and they have accomplished so much. Right. I'm really amazed every day by what they've been able to and do. And you had a past selectman that was basically your campaign we person. Did. Ben we Polico did. was definitely mm, like yes. the banner child for the library to make this happen, yes. whether it was at town meetings, selectmen's meetings, you know, talking before every group in town saying, hey, look, we need this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. When you think about where you're physically located, mm -hmm. uh, when you think about what has been going on in the town, this is such an asset. And to right size the asset and add technology, yes. what, it, it, it brings incredible value to the community. Yes. And, and thank does. you. Oh, I mean, this sure. is so cool. You've gone to such a long way. I remember in the early days of discussions about a new library, and many people thought, what are, you know, people still go to libraries. Yeah, you know, we have people on the Google. internet. Who needs yeah. a library? And I remember the the former library director, uh, Rona Hussein, who had to go out and really advocate for mm -hmm. library use. I think there's been a, you know, so I think even around the country, right? I mean, there's yes. more of a awareness building and yeah. renaissance of, of libraries. Absolutely. So this is a culmination of yeah, libraries yeah. are vital, necessary, and, and wonderful public spaces so to gather. So to, to you know, you talk about. Um, yeah, you know, are they are they relevant? Mm -hmm. But to make a point, 
our little group started a book club. And mm -hmm. most of the members use hard copy books. Yeah. Some are taking them out from the library. Mm -hmm. And, and I yeah, only some like are reading on the books. tablet. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's funny. And I know yeah. my kids will probably be more electronic. Mm -hmm. I still like to turn a page. Yep. And I read differently than when I'm on a it's tablet. It's harder to read. Yep. A, like, I've tried it with a tablet. And, you know, the, the light helps to try to read right. in bed without bothering Michael. But right. I can't do it. It just it feels weird. It's so very I still different. do it. Yeah. And, yeah. But we still, even for the people who do prefer it, we offer downloadable ebooks. It, and we, well, that's what I'm saying. And, so and we have and a little have bit of those, everything. I, I, yeah. But I think it's going to be generational. Yeah. But it still well, keeps yeah. you, well, you know. We've, there have been some really interesting studies around that. Really? You know, mm. Kids, uh, millennials, I say millennials in quotes. I'm technically a millennial. Pre prefer for for things like textbooks. There's a study. They prefer paper. Yeah, mm. because my son there's something about turning the page. My, son, the text text the yeah. my yeah. son prefers a book. My daughter prefers yeah. reading it online yeah. and stuff like that. Um, and um, she actually likes like, the downloadable ones where they read to her. So she'll mm -hmm. listen to them and be able to you know be on Buzzfeed or something at the same time. <laughs> I mean, I grew up locally, so the the library in Ashland, you know, is it's small, mm -hmm. but. Um, I they remember a nice addition. The, I remember things like um, the children's room. We did a thing where, like, you know, you read so many books, and there was like an inchworm, and we filled it in, mm -hmm. and it got me going. And then year, several years later, my Girl Scout troop always met at the library, mm -hmm. you know, and it was sometimes out in the front lawn, sometimes it was actually just in the kids' room. We sat on the floor, <laughs> so that the library is a place to pull things together, and we hadn't been able to do that. Yeah, um, I well, think that's one of the things when you talk about oh, is the internet replacing the library and that yeah. kind of thing. What what people are coming to realize is that you know a library is not simply a place where there's a bunch of stuff that you go look at mm -hmm. that you know we have all this information but we need to be able to learn how to think about it and right. engage with it and and you know and also that we need a space you know mm -hmm. th there's this concept of a, it's the fourth the fourth place or the third place again but this idea that is there somewhere outside of homework and school right. Yeah, right. Place, right. Place, right. that you yeah. can go mm -hmm. and be in your community and those places where you can go and be in your community and talk to people without paying for a cup of coffee right. Yeah. Right. are disappearing yeah. right. Um, yeah. right the library is mm -hmm. that place and mm -hmm. we're we're really you know focused i think in part on being a space for people to come into and, and i think mm -hmm. doing different engaging programs like yeah. you're doing with like you where you've had speakers and authors come in you always had speakers in the past too mm -hmm. i mean I've come to come oh, half a dozen speakers, but yeah. Yeah. you know, even bringing in things like doing flower arranging and doing yes. things like that are embracing other interests that will get them into the library. And then, hey, wow, this is pretty cool. Yes. Um, wow, that's the whole idea. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, I got to tell you, it it's, it's going to be so exciting, and it's oh, such yes. an incredible space. I and, can't and wait. The whole um, just. It takes you guys to the next level, yeah. so yeah. you've got to be thrilled. I am so, and, and, and it was one of the things that drew me here. You know, we, we, mm -hmm. so we talked about how I, I looked at the job posting and said, they're getting a new building. You know, I know what that does for a library, what right. that does for a community, and it's just, I knew it was going to be such a ride. I didn't expect to be <laughs> the ride at the time, but it's, well, it's I mean, part of the ride you're going to yeah. take in the next, you know, three to five years is also mm -hmm. what's happening downtown and the whole yes, downtown exactly. quarter, and I'm on the what's now called the 2030 committee it used to be 2020 but mm -hmm. we didn't finish our goals and now it's 2030 <laughs> but the um, just move them out further <laughs> but of getting the downtown kind of revitalized itself yeah. and this becomes an integral part i mean there's only one other building in town that has had as many people go through it as a library has and that's actually the cultural arts mm -hmm. and in one year the cultural arts has had 12,000 people go wow. through it and, and picking up programs so seeing that there's a grasp on whether it's arts and literature or arts you know, tangible arts and painting and clay and photography, the, um, there is definitely something that's a draw here. You know, you go over to Bittersweet and they've got an art display going on, yeah. but there's also like, you know, take a book, come in, have a coffee. Yes. Well, yeah, and, and absolutely. You know, to add on to the whole downtown, as we transition from the elementary school, center school, um, and its purposes, again, you're, you're creating these anchors right here um, in our downtown that becomes, it, it just, it creates this straw, it brings people in. And in fact, the interesting thing, and, and Patricia, you and I talked about this, when we first moved to town 20 years ago, <laughs> you didn't think about buying a house downtown. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, the hot place to be, in the buying a house downtown, town. to walk to, to be at, to, you know, be part of I know. and it's really I love this I call it a renaissance this this 
this downtown boom and it makes our community so vibrant and you're part yeah. of that that <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that fabric that Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah i've been talking to i was just talking to the the owner of bittersweet the other day and he was saying now that the library is coming back he's expecting to see so much more right you know, traffic. traffic downtown and sure. you know because it's a drive people want to come, come yeah. there and be there and um, it's just so the, is the there newness anything factor. new yeah. that yeah. You're, you're looking to launch, or is it just getting the doors open? Oh, we're, I mean, the, <laughs> we're, we're, well, right now it's getting the doors open, but we're doing so much. I mean, the fact that we have event spaces, meeting rooms that we can offer to the public, that is a huge, huge new thing for us. And we're not going to open reservations up to the public for a little a, bit. A little Let's bit after that, just so we yeah. can get settled what we are, because it's a huge undertaking but that is in and of itself massive you know right. as we come back and talk about space to engage and connect so um, what was yeah. the old church what is the capacity of the, what is your capacity for i believe it's 120. seriously yes. wow yes. so it's seated in auditorium seating kind of thing probably yeah. I, I i'm not sure which thinking, yeah which configuration yeah, yeah, that's, that's for but yeah, yeah i just got the figures from the architect the other day I wow <laughs> very cool <laughs> so very it's, cool. it's but it is you know we really we can do quite a bit in there oh, how um, and so I have been exciting. I have been contacted the interim director before me we were being contacted as of like last winter mm. about booking rooms you know, so, are so oh yeah fired. I know I'm, all, I'm <laughs> salivating well, at that thought so is your family yeah. and like your husband coming out your parents and stuff they're like gonna that? come out and see it they may not be here you know next Friday for the mm -hmm. opening but yeah they want to come see it and see this labor you know. of love <laughs> did you the, the article in? went up in the Metro West daily and my sister got it on Facebook before I did. <laughs> <laughs> you know, new director. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you know, yeah. everybody's very excited. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. They're going to come out and say hello, get a feel for it. Yeah. So you seem so relaxed. I mean, there's so People much going on. Yeah. You that. Just, you're just you're a great <laughs> a yeah. leadership style. Just well, relaxed. We don't know what's in her cup. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> just tea. Hot tea. Just tea. Just tea. <laughs> just tea. Smiling absolutely. Tea. Smiling. Yeah. yeah. So when do you get to take a vacation then? <laughs> yeah. you get relax. I, I had a pre-planned trip for Thanksgiving, so I get to sneak out for that, and then probably not till I'm thinking February. Yeah. I'm gonna take a good like week in February. Tell Norman. No. <laughs> I don't you, tell Norman. Norman. <laughs> you tell Norman. You tell Norman. You see that request? So let's yeah. go back to you. Yeah. You guys had the Herculean effort of relocating. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you kept operations going. Yes. And now you're relocating again. Talk yes. about that process. Oh, uh, it's, it's been a, a real immense amount of work, and I have to give so much credit to the staff. For Lose this. any books? We have such a team. Yeah. Well, we're doing inventory right now. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what they're in there doing right now. Is literally we printed out spreadsheets of every single thing that should be on our yeah. shelf and they are going book by book in there right now yeah. wow because this is the time to do it this is the only time yes. we can be confident yes. that our list yes. will match um you know really it's it's from a directorial mm -hmm. perspective you know the other way i participated in it as a staff member but this is a team where you can sit down and say we need to do a b c d e f and g and farm it out to people and people just take it and run with it they're so mm -hmm. responsible they're so dedicated. They're so driven. You know, we had a, a little issue with some of the books, you know, where we want to talk to the movers about how they didn't put back on the shelves. The staff had fixed it before I was even on the phone mm. with the mover. You know, the, wow. it's, it's, they are such a great team and they so much want this to, to do this just right for everybody when we open the door. So as an so, addition to yeah. that, are there any treasures that you have in your inventory or any mm -hmm. things you'd like to add to what you've got, like on a wish list of just, I don't know, yeah. historical top Hopkinton or anything. Yeah, well, we've been to hear about yeah. that in the next couple of seconds. We, we've had a few people talking to us about special collections of this mm -hmm. nature, that nature. Um, I, I know that um, I've been approached by Tim Kilduff from 26.2 Foundation about a marathon collection. We actually have. I bought every marathon book that came out that really? I saw, basically, because, you know, yeah, yeah, running books. So that's a matter of pulling it out and sort of putting stickers on it. But, you know, we've had the Trails Club interested in, you know, a trail map collection. I'm sure other people will be coming out of cool. the woodwork. I think a good library really reflects the specifics the community of this itself. community. I mean, and so I love to have these I know there's a cross. Things, you have you know. actually a lot of stuff from the Historic Society at one point is here, too. We do have a, a substantial historical collection. We have some really interesting stuff down there. And one of the things that will be happening on the 27th is Linda Connolly, 
um, who has been the staff member most involved with the, the archives that we have over time, will be down in the local history room, which we now have a dedicated okay. local history wow. room. Wow. All Love day. It. Showing off some of our really cool stuff. Wow. So, well, yeah. there is so much to cover, and we're so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We will continue too. the conversation uh, beyond today, and we look forward um, to the opening and the and we the have a pair gala. Of great big scissors will be bringing. <laughs> Right. Right. Here. <laughs> right. So thank you. Thank yeah. you so much for being well, on our show. Really me. appreciate yeah, the time wonderful. and being here. And I uh, want everybody to join us for our next show. Where we'll have State Representative Carolyn Dykeman yeah, join, join us, us next, next week. week. Now, quickly, though, yes. this weekend, there's a couple of fall things going on. Um, what are they? Like a 5K. The weather. Is We're what having will be happening weather. right here. Yeah. Um, come so out and, up, and yeah. cheer mm -hmm. on our undefeated football team <laughs> <laughs> against rival Hollister. <laughs> uh -uh. no, uh -oh. Shout out to Carolyn Dykeman next week when you're on the show. We'll, <laughs> we'll talk about that. Awesome. Well, thank but you. Anyway, yeah, thanks for being you. with thank us. You so much. Thanks for joining and us. I'm so excited. Yeah. Gail and Grant opening. Well. Yes, we'll see you at the party. Yeah, yeah. see you soon. I'll be leading tours. <laughs> <laughs>